Zach Zinter filled in for um, Wyatt Teller and, and passed the eye test without question, and uh, it backs up with uh, some of the numbers. So was facing Brian Burns, Dexter Lawrence, two really good pass rushers, allowed only one quarterback hurry. You could see him blocking well in space. That's uh, kind of important for a young uh, guard. And uh, two pancakes on one drive. Um, I, I don't have... I'm a lot more confident in Zach Zinter than I am whomever we're trotting out um, in their current state at tackle. Yeah, I think there's reason to be. I mean, Zach Zinter, I think we were talking about him after the draft. I, I didn't think there was anything wrong with him from a draft perspective as far as his player evaluation. There was a lot to like about him. I just was concerned, you know, how he was going to heal up from the broken leg. And did you were you going to have to throw him out there, you know, too early? And unfortunately for the Browns, they're going to have to. But to his credit, like you said, I mean, those are good numbers. You get you're able to you only give up one quarterback hurry against a Giants defense that was as relentless as it was a week ago being thrown in when you're not expected to play a lot, if at all, other than be, you know, a piece in a jumbo package like we saw against Jacksonville. And Zinter held his own, and you ultimately drafted him to be a future starter in this offensive line. And now you kind of get a chance with Wyatt Teller being on the injured reserve out for the next four weeks to kind of see what that looks like. So Zach Zinter can get an idea of what it's like to play consistently at the NFL level, to be a starter, to go up against these great defensive fronts, because he's got Christian Wilkins this week. Next week, he's got Washington's elite front. The week after, Philadelphia. Then you got Cincinnati and Baltimore, potentially. So it's a great (laughs) test to see... If this guy, this young man can play, and if he can, how good can he be? Can he be the eventual heir to Joel Batonio or Wyatt Teller in the middle? And that's what, if you're the Browns, you hope that's what he can be. I mean, you're base, basing off one half. He's got something good to build off of.